first, me and Alan had the idea, came with the idea of starting this, starting a chapter here because Theta is a national organization. And so we each asked um, our own friends that we thought would be a good fit. And together we came and emailed the national office. And so they sent down the executive director to talk to us. From then he told us each step that we had to take come from an interest group to a colony, which we are now. To become a colony, it actually took us not that long, about three months. But to become a chapter, it would take, it's typical for a year or a year and a half or even two years, but we're shooting for a year. I feel like a lot of the departments have been really supportive. They're, it's actually really, really easy to start a, a group here at UCLA. So there were, like the processes were pretty clear and like they had the facilitation pretty down. It is the first Arab sorority in the nation, so I just I just felt like it needed to. We needed a, an Arab presence in Greek life, I guess. I've gotten contact, contacted by campuses like all over the nation that want to start chapters, but um, we don't want to expand until we officially like solidify and basically make everything perfect. We're still going through the process of becoming officially Greek. I um, started the process last. Um, April. Basically we started out as being registered as a student group but um, the Multicultural Greek Council kind of knows we're here and they want to see basically what we can do. We're recognized as working towards becoming the sorority. Happened, my friend Ryan and I we were just working on the film set one day and it was fun and at one point we were just kind of like I'm not really a frat kind of guy, and he was already in one. We were just like, why is there not like a film frat? And then he said, why is there not like a film frat? And I was just like, wait, why the heck is there not a film frat? And we started like, we need to jump on this immediately, just like make this happen. What happened was we made a founding board of 14 members, kind of like to go through the trial of like starting up a new, a new chapter here, and really just establishing ourselves. I think it was pretty tough as a student group and getting recognized by the film school and by UCLA as like an official entity. Once that happened, we started talking about it to people towards the end of winter quarter, got the word out as much as we could, and we've had like a great, fantastic turnout. There's just like this little possibility like in the back of our minds, like what if we build this whole thing up and come rush quarter, like come rush period, I mean like no one's gonna come out. I think the biggest fear that I had was that there would be no interest in founding a professional engineering fraternity here. But as it turned out, it was the opposite, and we had a lot of people come out um, wanting to help. In the beginning, one big main obstacle was um, to get people involved in wanting to start it, because I think in some groups, the, word, the term sorority seems to have a negative connotation amongst some people, so it's kind of like, being able to convince people that um, it's not the typical, stereotypical sorority. It's more like a tight group of girls where we're able to share things and share experiences and make a difference together. The difference between a professional frat and a club is that we really have that bonding um, aspect to it, that brotherhood. And I think that's what really makes a fraternity or sorority stand out from a club. There's a lot more opportunities for um, workshops and networking with professionals and other like alumni of the group who have gone on into the industry. Um, it's a lot stronger of a connection than just you know a club. Having made such a deep bond in like such short of time, I've learned that a lot of people are willing to make those bonds, and it's just another step to actually get it out. It's, it's really sad that it just started now, but it's the last thing, if it's the last thing that I'm going to do in college, it has to be something as stereotypical as a fraternity, but as awesome as a film fraternity, and also like a co-ed fraternity. It isn't really joining the Greek system, but then I could say I was a frat girl.